Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Text Boundaries. Here's the scenario. You have a document and you must stay within the margins of the document to be in compliance with the Submissions Health Authority. And you don't want to have to guess if the text, tables, figures, and graphs are within the margins. To do this, use text boundaries. Watch this video to learn how to do this. So for text boundaries, you want to go to the File tab, Options, Advanced. Then we want to scroll down to Show Document Content section. And click the box next to Show Text Boundaries and select OK. Now, as you can see, the screen looks a little busy because it surrounds all the text. But you can see where your margins are and if you have any tables or text that are outside your margins, you'll know immediately because the text boundaries are displayed. So if this screen seems too busy, I suggest you create two macros. One that turns the text boundaries on and one that turns it off. Then you can put the macros on your quick access toolbar for fast and easy access. So the first thing you may need to do is display the developer tab if yours is not being displayed at this time. To display the developer tab, click the down arrow on the quick access toolbar. Click on more commands. We want to go to Customize Ribbon. Make sure there is a check in the box next to the Developer tab. And click OK. Click on the Developer tab. And in the Code group, click Record Macro. Give your macro a name. I'm going to leave everything else defaulted and I'll click OK. Your cursor should now have a little cassette tape attached to it showing you that the macro is being recorded. Now remember, when you record macros, it records every step you take. So test out your macro before you hit record macro. Now for this one, we want to go to File options advanced scroll down to show document content click on show text boundaries click OK click stop recording now to check to make sure your macro is recorded click on the macros icon and you can see boundaries on is what I named my macro so I know it's in there. Now I'm going to create the second macro where we'll turn off the text boundaries. So again we'll hit record macro, give the macro a name, and click OK. Go to file, options, advanced, Go down to Show Document Content, uncheck the box next to Show Text Boundaries, click OK. Click Stop Recording. Go into our Macros icon, Boundaries Off is in there. Now let's put these two macros on our Quick Access Toolbar. Click the down arrow on the Quick Access Toolbar. Go to More Commands. Now in the Choose Commands From, select Macros. There's all of our macros. Let's select Boundaries Off. Click the Add button to move it over into the right field. Select Boundaries On. Click the Add button. Now let's give them some icons and change the names. Highlight the macro. Select Modify. 
Since this is boundaries off, I want to give it a red box to signify stop. I'm going to change the name, shorten it a little bit, and say OK. We'll do the same thing for boundaries on. Select modify. Let's give this one a green box and change the name and say OK and say OK again. Now the macros are on our quick access toolbar. So if we want to show the text boundaries, click the green icon. To turn them off, click the red icon. And that is the end of this lesson, Text Boundaries.